Hey YouTube, what is up? Courtney here, just popping back in for another video. And today I'm going to do my October Boxy Charm unboxing. I have not opened it yet. I got it in the mail a couple days ago, and I have been waiting to do this video. I have just put on a little bit of foundation today, that's all I have on. Other than that, I brought with me this brush and this brush just in case there's some fun stuff to try i'm gonna go ahead and open it i'm excited to see what we have all right the first thing we have and let's open up our paper here too sorry you can probably hear my dishwasher in the background hmm. okay so the first thing is going to be green clean Pharmacy Beauty, it's spelled like, I don't know if you can see, oh my camera won't, doesn't want to focus, there we go, and it is Makeup Cleansing Balm, so, don't want to use that right now really, because I am applying makeup, but, mm, it smells really, really good. I love that. It looks like it says to gently massage onto dry skin for eye makeup removal. Apply to closed eyes. Rinse with warm water or wipe off with a damp washcloth. I should have brought a washcloth with me. But that definitely smells really good. I'm going to have to try that later on today when I take off my foundation and any makeup I might put on other than that. Alright. Here, let's actually get into this right here. Cause this looks like this is an eye product. If I'm not face palettes, it is. It is the pure, the complexion authority midnight masquerade palette. It's a ten piece fa face palette. Awesome. So let's see what all is in here. It's in this beautiful little packaging. So it looks like it's gonna have some maybe concealer and some eyeshadow and it says right here in the package on the bottom that is cruelty free gluten free vegan friendly and always please recycle okay let's open this up oh it needs some little knife action here to get into it okay good thing I brought my brush with me Ooh, looks nice and pretty. Let's do some eyeshadow today. Looks like they've got some really pretty colors here for the eyeshadow. Only bad thing with that is you're gonna have to really work with some shimmer shades. I would have liked to see another matte shade, but I guess you could pick up some of this product from the other side if you really wanted to make it more mattifying have my mirror over here to the side so I am going to go into the matte shade that's on here I have a tiny little mirror actually which is kind of cool and I'm going to apply this all over my lid even though this is kind of a dark color that's another bad thing that on the palette side Oh, there's a little mirror in here. On the palette side, there really isn't any light color. And I kind of like a light color usually for my face. So, it's a pretty color. It's not exactly the most pigmented. It could be the lighting that I'm into as well. Okay. What color do I want to go into? So, again, my lighting's not that good. But this color right here is like 
in person this one it looks almost like a bronzy color here but in person that is like a puke green not gonna lie sorry people who make this palette i'm sure your intentions were good but i would not wear that so i'm gonna pick up a little of this shade down here this is a purple shade I'm kind of just see if I can darken up those corners a little bit. Add this little tint to it down there in the bottom. So it's not going to do much when your base is already that dark. Not at all. So, these shimmer shades would probably be best with a little concealer down there and a light base. I think they would be gorgeous. Have a lot of fallout, as you can see right here on the sides. It's really hard to see it, but the purple is really, really pretty. And my lighting is terrible where I'm at right now. So I know my makeup looks like crap. If I was in my bathroom where I could actually see, it would look much, much better. So as for this little palette here, I'm not going to... Mm, I might get into a little bit of these other shades. I might put down a little bit on my cheeks. Now, I didn't really have a good brush with me. My brushes are still in my car from when I went home. Again... Those are some bold colors. I'm gonna pick up a little of this shade here. Let's see how that, not too bad for the fallout on that one. I'm just kinda go into my cheeks area here a little bit. I thought it smelled like something good. It must just be my candle that I was burning earlier. It's not doing a, a whole lot, unfortunately. Kind of just trying to... Not really doing much. Hmm. Probably could use a better brush. This is a cheap brush, but... I'm gonna dust it off now. Try to pick up a little of that cheek tint action. Trying to use my mirror over here to the side as well. That one, I don't mind as much. I really don't. That one, it doesn't buy a lot of product, so it's okay. You can definitely see that that pink there's a lot my brush is really really terrible and really flimsy and crappy i can't even remember what this came with it came with something that i got off of like amazon and it is junk but that's all i had in my little makeup drawer all my other brushes are in a storage container and again my good ones are in my car still from when i went home for the fair okay next product it's not something that I'm going to be able to use right now, but I am super excited to maybe try one of these later. These are Black Bamboo Charcoal Peel-Off Masks. Feels like there's something here in this little container, and then... So it looks like you cleanse the face, apply it, then you put... You line up the holes, and then place it around your ears, and then wear it. Looks like little directions on the bottom there so that seems pretty cool oh i'm sorry i haven't been giving the uh retail for these let me go back let me back up put in reverse okay this stuff here the green green cleanse balm is 22 dollars the pure midnight masquerade face palette is 38 dollars and then these bamboo masks, $30. And I can't tell you 
who this is by. I can't pronounce that. Oh, come on, camera. It doesn't like me today. It's not going to do it. Sorry. Sorry, camera sucks. Need a real one. That crap's expensive. Moving on. What should we do here next? Ooh. Ooh. I got some. Some. Oh, mascara. I love my mascara. This is It Cosmetics. It looks like. Let me make sure that's right. Yes, It Cosmetics. The Superhero Elastic Stretch Volumizing Mascara. I just love mascara. So let's apply some, shall we? And see how it is. Retails for $24. Like, if I could just wear only mascara and eyeliner, I could get by probably for the rest of my life. Not going to lie. It's just all I need. Mainly because I'm lazy and it takes like two seconds. I just touched like down here in my face. Also, let's not talk about my eyebrows. I need to get them done. I need to get my hair done. I also just had to get new tires and brake pads for my car, so I'm gonna be looking a little bit a little bit ugly for a while. I just accidentally pulled down my top lash with the wand and pulled it down in the wrong direction. I do like this mascara. It stinks though. I'm trying to think what it smells like. It reminds me of something, I can't put my finger on it now, but. I like this mascara. Okay, let's also again, not talk about my eyeshadow. I need to get some better lighting. I need to get a ring light, but. Again, just got new bricks and new tires, so not gonna happen. Alright, and now what I'm hoping is going to be super awesome. We shall see. I've never tried any of her lip product before. This is Kat Von D Liquid Lipstick. Everlasting Liquid Lipstick. Okay, and this retails for $20. Smooth, creamy, and lightweight. Vegan and cruelty free Ooh, I like that color nice and dark oh, oh what okay look at this ready not expecting that I just was not expecting it to be that bright let's see what it looks like okay Okay. Oh, some of my nose is itching right now. Oh, I done messed up real bad. Oh gosh, I don't have a makeup white wick with me to fix it. Oh, my beauty blender. Oh no. <laughs> Okay, yeah. I done fucked up real bad. <laughs> Let's not talk about it. I also never have my glasses on. I put makeup on. And girl can't see. Okay? Oh god. <laughs> It's just getting worse. I right, should just title all my videos. Makeup fails. Because that's really what I do is makeup fails. I shouldn't even wear makeup. Why do I buy it? I can't apply it. Okay. What do I think of this color? It is awesome. I applied it like, um, I can't see. Should've put my glasses back on. But hey. They're laying like right here. I don't know why I just didn't put them back on. 
<laughs> oh gosh. Oh gosh, let's take a makeup off because that looks so bad. And I don't want my makeup wipe to fix it. Alright, so what do I think overall of this October boxy charm? I like it. I got a couple products that I will use all the time. Because one, this color is awesome. I'm so glad it doesn't look like this right here when it's applied. Because that definitely looks super light compared to like what's actually on my lips. Um, love this. Love all mascara. So it could really be anything. It could be from like the dollar store and I'd be like, ooh, mascara. Um... Other than that, I got a couple products that I'm going to have to try later. Pretty excited about. Always like seeing new facial products to try out. Little makeup boxes full of them. Uh, one thing that, I mean, I'll have to see. I'd have to like apply this with other products. Because again, like I said, that's a lot of shimmer shades. Like, you got to have like at least another matte shade with the eyeliner. Or eyeshadow, sorry. If you're going to do this. First, this color, I'll never wear because this doesn't go with my skin tone. Like, I dabbed in, I think, is that the one I used a little bit of? I used a little bit of that on, but I just, it's too, it's okay. But, like, in here, it's just a little too light for my skin tone. So, maybe if I mixed, maybe these two might be a little better. It's okay. Like, it's okay. I don't really see a lot of the bronzy shade and I didn't try this at all so I can't judge that one but this is kind of like would work good with other products so I ain't mad but I've gotten better palettes before so it's okay don't hate me don't hate me anyway that is my October boxy chem unboxing I have not got my Sephora play yet so I could not review that but other than that I am very happy with this one and I think I saw a sneak peek of November so I'm super excited for that one and I can't wait to get it so thanks for watching my video please like comment subscribe give me a thumbs up all that lovely stuff and I hope you all have a great rest of your day bye